Hello. I'm going to be debunking everybody's favourite nut job. Molotov cop fail. In his video, guns are good. Oh dear. Let's get on with this. For my home defense, I have Mulder and Scully. Between these two, I can pretty much handle any threat, foreign or domestic. Well, why do you have to have an AK-47? Why can't you just learn karate or carry mace? Well, first of all, I've had death threats from rabid liberals and Muslims for years, so my house is sealed tighter than Obama's birth certificate. Second, do you just want to make it by in a gunfight, or would you like to absolutely psycho-dominate the gunfight? Listen, if Scully howls, Mulder's coming. And don't make me bring out Cancer Man. Why do you need a gun when you are a God-fearing person? You need, all you need is the Bible. It will protect you. God will protect you. If you die, in a, you become a martyr to the cause and you'll go to heaven. So why do you need to lock yourself in your house with a gun? This is just totally, totally gets why religious people have the need for guns. And God will protect them. But this bit, part, I like, about Switzerland. Let's talk about Switzerland. Yes, Switzerland. Where they issue assault rifles and ammunition to every household, while still maintaining the lowest gun crime in the world. He has got the right idea that gun crime in Switzerland is low. I'll link up the article I got and the doobly doo in the down below. Gun. Right. Switzerland has a compulsory gun ownership for military age males. Don't doesn't say every household, it's not every household, it is just the military age. Because Switzerland only keeps a small standing army. This means most able bodied civilians, males, the military age, keep weapons in their home in case of a national emergency. So it's not for health, it's not if anybody breaks in your house you're going to shoot them. It is just in case Switzerland needs you if there's a national emergency. Dick what? Let's get to the next one. He's got no idea. Doesn't he know how to use Google? Well, once upon a time, Switzerland was threatened by national socialists. And they wanted to make sure that that could never happen again. And as a filmmaker, I think that's why horror movies are never set in Switzerland. Ah, he's wrong. He's wrong. Totally wrong. Because there's a film called Phenomena, set in Switzerland. <laughs> it's set in a Swiss boarding school. Don't be shit. I'll link the, the movie in the doobly-doo. But it is called Phenomena. What a cock fail. He can't... I just... He pulls this shit out of his ass. Totally. So, I hope you enjoyed my debunking of a complete dickwad. See you later.